Okay, so the next step that we need to do is to place the arch wire. So make sure you spend the time looking at the um, example of what full fix likes because it, it will give you an idea of what the components look like. This is an example of arch wire. These come in all different strengths and um, widths and you know skinny and big and enormous. And so the operator will know which one they want to use. And they can use the study model as a guide to trim it back a little bit already before we start. The new arch wires apparently is this new type of metal that actually has a memory. So it, it is designed to be this shape and so when it gets bent it automatically wants to pull itself back into this arch position which is how it pulls the teeth back in so they've got this new metals with a memory in them there you go okay so with our arch wire and I'll just grab this example through the um, bands at the back it threads through a little slot in the side and I've got out ones here called the buckle tube so we know the outside surface is referred to as the buckle there's a little tube on the side of that um, band and that's where the arch wire fits through so they push it through the buckle tube and now we'll slide it in between all of those brackets okay so that's what the first thing they're going to do now to do that because it's a bit hard getting our fingers on this little tiny wire they can use this instrument which is called a house to handle the arch wire so it helps with arch wire placement so the house has got the two big balls on the end and this one is called a wine gart and I remember this one, if you look at it on the side, and it's hard learning all these pliers, see how it's leaning over a little bit? He tilts over the head, I say he's had too much wine. <laughs> so he's a wine gart, all right? So you need to be familiar with all of these instruments. Fantastic. So that's how we thread that in. So once that's in position, we often have a bit of excess arch wire sticking out the back. So what's the problem with that? Jamming out the back there, do you think? If you were the patient. Can you hit the yeah, right. It's really going to dig in there for sure. So we need to cut that excess off. So we are working down the back of the mouth and around the back of the corner. It's a little tricky. So we've got a specialised instrument called a distal end cutter, and it's designed so it goes around the back and down the side, and they just snip it off, and that ex excess arch wire will come off. The last thing that they'll do at the back there to make sure that it can't move is just with their house, and that's what the design of these little balls is for. They'll just get the end of that arch wire and just give it a little tweak, like a little bend, so it sort of wraps around the back of that bracket so it can't go anywhere, it locks it in position, and it's not going to be rubbing those soft tissues. Okay, so put the arch wire in, remove the excess, tweak it towards the back, and make sure it's thread through all of these um, brackets here at the front. So that's pretty quick, actually, the arch wire placement. Has anyone got any questions on the arch wire placement? <coughs> so that's the third stage. Okay, so we've finished that one, we've got one to go.